yellow. Why is my tongue orange? That's disturbing. Hey, what's up, card community? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. We are going to get right into it today. We are going to do a full face using a mix of high-end and drugstore products. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will leave a lovely reminder right here. Um, because yeah, I try to put out at least two videos a week. Sometimes I can't. I'll try to put at least one, but that effort is there. We're trying to grow our community, so Please subscribe if you haven't already, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, share this video, you know, like have all your friends be part of this beautiful group of ours. So with all those reminders out of the way, let's get right into it. So we should prime our face, I thought I was ready and I'm not. Let's see what we have. We're going to go in with our Pixie by Petra Flawless and Poreless Primer. So that's what we're going to start with. So I think today we'll do like a little bit of like a get ready with me style. Like what's happening with y'all? Leave a comment. Just let's chat. I am leaving my house today. Usually I'll like do these like reviews and like get ready with me's and like I don't always have somewhere to go I'm sorry my tongue is really orange and I apologize if you're subjected to that and you witness that I think it's because I had these like kale chips that were delicious but they had tahini I think and now my tongue's orange so just in case you guys want to have some kale chips with tahini, just know that your tongue might get orange. Although I also had these like cheesy pretzels, so I've just had a really healthy morning, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, so today I'm going out. I'm going to buy a fan because although we're pretty cool in our little corner over here, um... Last night was quite warm. We had our door closed because we didn't want our little petite chat over there to come in. And I woke up this morning feeling, like, uncomfortably warm. And I think I woke up a few times feeling uncomfortably warm. So, yeah. I'm just, like, not about that life. So I'm going to get a fan so that it can run on these toasty, toasty nights. So next, I'm going in with my Milk Makeup Cooling Water Stick, and I'm going to put that under my eyes. I have a mini one of these in my purse, and the mini one's almost better, just because it's in a smaller, there's a lot of cat hair, <laughs> a smaller thing. So like, I don't know, it kind of like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but like, it almost breaks down at the base, like it's like melting, and I know when I use it, like... It feels like it wiggles a lot, although it covers a lot more space than like my little one does, obviously. Let's put my nose too. Okay, well now that that's on, I'm just going to wipe the remnants on my hand. Right. But yeah, so I'm going to go to Home Depot to get a fan. I might go to Saks off 5th Avenue, which is like their Winners-esque type thing. Like it's like kind of an outlet store. And they had some really nice purses. I went with Bay the other day. I didn't buy anything, but I mean, I don't know if it counts if I go back and buy stuff today. We'll see. Um. Yeah, they just had some really nice purses. They had some nice matte nap purses. And then they had some really nice Marc Jacobs purses. And I want 
I need them. No, I don't, but I want them. Because the purse that I had broke. I love that little purse, but it snapped. So, I don't know. We'll see. And then I might go to my new gym and get my membership. I tested it out yesterday and I really liked it. Um, their machines were like super fancy. Like, and sorry, I should tell you what I'm doing probably. Um, I used the Healthy Foundation Brightening Complex by Position Formula in the color LW2. So that's the color I used, and I just plooped it all over my face. And then I'm just going in with a NYX brush, a NYX 22 brush. It's like meant for foundation. My brushes are covered in cat hair. I don't know if her hair just floats over here and attracts this, but like, or if she's up in here when I'm not looking. In any case, I'm not impressed. Gwendol, your hairs are everywhere. But yeah, so these machines are like crazy at this gym they like let you like do whatever the first three reps to measure like your baseline and then it like will tell you like if you're meeting your like I'm saying like a lot I'm sorry if you're meeting your best like initial kind of form or not like there's like like a sliding scale and then it also tells you like if you're going too fast if you're going too slow the speed that you should be going at it's really neat I used like a hand bike yesterday no one I've talked to uses hand bikes but there's also only one so I assume it can't be that popular but it was so fun I felt like a little weirdo just being like it was great then I went swimming because this place has a pool. It's not a big pool, but it's it'll do. Um, there's just a lot of people and, like, a lot of kids, which is fine. But, like, there were some youth that were just, like, literally beating up on each other. And I was like, take it outside. Like, stop. There was a lot of ball throwing, and I'm like, if I get hit with a ball, I'm not going to be impressed. But all in all, it was pretty good. I floated around, and I... And derped. The showers were uncomfortably hot. I'm like really sensitive to hot and like it wasn't my favorite but the gym itself is really good. I'm gonna try to go when there's not as many people. If that's a thing in the summer we'll see. So I'm going in with these little pearls. They're like little pearls by e.l.f. in the color natural and I'm just gonna dust it all over my face. Um, so that's, yeah, that's like my daily plan. Go get a fan. Potentially get a purse. Um, and like update my thing. I might get a new little Heidi House thing for little Sneaks. Sneaks is my rabbit. Um, because she bit through hers. I mean, she's totally fine with it. She loves it. It has like a front entrance and a back entrance now, but it doesn't look very nice. It's like, it's a mess. So yeah, I might do that. This stuff's really sticky. I did a review of this product a while ago. If I can find the video, I will do my best to link it somewhere. Um yeah, it stinks. I really don't like the smell. But other than that, it looks fine. The powder look worked pretty well. Elf. I don't know if they still have this. I got it on sale a while ago, so they might be gone. But I don't know. I mean, I need a real powder. Let's use my cap on D. I'm a mess, y'all. I'm a mess. There we go. 
so yeah next I'm gonna go in with the it cosmetics bye bye breakout full coverage concealer for oily slash acne prone skin in the color fair yes because light is too dark for me for me um, and now I'm gonna go in with a precision tapered brush from Sigma and see if that works usually I'll use my hands to blend but I'm gonna use a brush today my hair is just wanting to stick to my face but yeah it's like Saturday currently when I'm filming this and I usually go to the market but when I woke up it was like pouring I have concealer in my eyes it's really good and then it was saying that it was gonna be like mostly cloudy but like still sunny by noon and I was like there's no way like it was pouring and it was gross looking out I was like app you wrong but lo and behold like noon rolled around and it was like fine it's like sunny out I was like what is this I should never have doubted you AccuWeather if you're looking for a good weather app I totes recommend AccuWeather because it really is very accurate even when you don't think it will be so, that's the truth. Alright, that happened. We're going to go in with some Kat Von D Locket setting powder in translucent. I think I got something in my eyeball. That's really fun. Let's go in with my Luxie brush. I like gouged my eye yesterday when I was trying to take out my contact lenses. It was great. I'm not going to wear them today. Although maybe I should. Because I'm getting out um, now. I'm going to take my glasses off for my picture. Because my contacts are just not. I have no purpose to wear them today. I know that there's some people out there that like wear contacts every day. But I'm like how do you do it? Gwendol your hairs. I can't. I'm going to try again to like wear eyelashes today. So last time I didn't film that, but this time I will. So you can watch me struggle with that process, which is a thrill, I'm sure. Okay. Now that that's on there, we're just going to let that sit. we're gonna go into our retinas so this is our bougiest product that we're using we're gonna go in with a Marc Jacobs eye palette it is the Fantasine palette and it's got this like bougie little like film covering everything it's very luxe and that's the palette there. It's just beautiful. It's full of like just nice colors. So there's a good blend between like matte colors and then some shimmers, another matte and then another shimmer. So I'm going to just not do a whole lot today. Like I don't need to bouge up my look. So I'm gonna create a really neutral look with this very fancy palette. So I don't plan on using any shimmers but I don't really plan much so you never know what do I need I need my Urban Decay Primer Potion stick that on my eyes um in terms of makeup um I'm curious if any of y'all that could be watching this have tried the benefit I think it's be happy foundation it's like light to medium comfort coverage 
and it's just a really cute bottle and I really want to try it. I was, I'm planning to get it from shoppers because get those points and then you can get stuff for free and I've been going like once a week to be like, do you have it? And they're like, we're waiting on the testers and I'm like, Ugh. I went last week and they're like, oh, it should be here by next week and then I went literally yesterday and they're like, it should be here by next week and I'm like, oh my gosh, so just waiting for that. I could go to like an actual Sephora and test it out because they, they'll they sell it to me. But like Shoppers doesn't do returns on makeup products like um, Sephora does. So if you get the wrong color, you're kind of stuck with it. So I'm going to go into this color here, which is called Flesh. And I'm just going to dust that everywhere. Oh, I got the mirror real nice and dirty. That's great. But yeah, so I'm pretty certain that I am a shade number three from what, like, the online looks like. But also, like, I've seen stuff that looks one way online and then looks very different in person. So I'm just going to wait. I don't want to waste my gas going all the way to a Sephora. Sh -sh 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 only to, like, swatch something and then go buy it somewhere else. Seems like a waste, so we're not gonna do that. Ooh, this palette has a lot of kick up. But, like, the color payoff is good. So far on this one color that I've tested. Um, so yeah, once I get, once my shoppers gets the testers and they finally put them out I will be purchasing that and testing it out for y'all so there's all the fallout there's none on my face that I can see but this little clumps right here that was all the fallout from that one um I think my plan and I will let you know if it changes but I think I'm gonna put this on my lid and then put that in the crease so I'm gonna do that and kind of fast forward through it and then if it changes if I get inspired to do something else I will update you but that's my plan currently so I'm starting with that pinky color on the lid and the brown color in the crease very 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 light like I don't I didn't use any of like the super dark shades but I don't know that they come off the same way that they do in the pants like the pink color looks much darker in the pan than it does on my eyes it's almost like a peach color and it's more like a soft rose in the pan. So, I don't know. I also have very wrinkly eyelids. And so, like, it's really, like, it looks like it's really creasing. It makes my eye look really weird. I've never had this happen. Mark Jacobs, what's happening? My other eye's not doing it. Ew. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. Well, that's happening. We're going to dust off all of the powder. 
under my eyes. And we are going to work with that. So we are going to go back in with this dusty rose color. I don't think I ever said. It's called Fantasy. Yes, so we're going to go in with Fantasy, which is this color over here, which is the one all over my lid. And we're just going to brush that underneath. Okay, well, that's that. And then we're going to go back in with the fluffy end of this brush, which is just a profusion brush. I got it in some kind of palette. And I'm going to put that back into this brown shade, which is Covet's. Dust that underneath as well. I don't know. They're really, really, like they fall apart so easily. Like, look at this. Like, it's a little bit ridiculous that half of the product's just breaking down. I don't know. The colors are pretty, but I don't know if maybe it's a little bit overrated. Maybe the shimmers are really nice. I didn't use them. But the mattes are a little disappointing. Like, I really brought that down much lower than I would have wanted to. But, like, you can't even tell it's there. So, I don't know. Does it create a nice, neutral look? It does. But, the palette's, like, at least $50, if not more. And for $50, I'd expect a little bit more than what I'm getting. There's also something in my eye, and that's really fun. Uh. I don't even know. There's too many powders on my face. Jesus. Help me. Okay. We're going to line our eyeballs. Oh my goodness. Everyone, stop. This is really bothering me. Okay, okay. That was way more dramatic than I wanted. Let's buff it out with a brush. There's a lot happening. That's fine. I'm over it. Okay, that's done. We're gonna go underneath with the Wonder Pencil from NYX in the color medium. And we're just gonna put that under here to make me look so awake. Wow. Okay, we're gonna finish out the eyes with our lovely, what's it called? Fake eyelashes. I have my tweez, which I may not actually use. And I have my glue, which is the real false lashes invisible lash glue from Benefit. And then I have these that I have no idea what they are. I don't know. I think they're kiss lashes, but I couldn't tell you because I didn't keep the packaging. And I had them in, like, my House of Lashes kit. My camera just stopped recording. It does this, and it makes me really mad. But, so I don't know where it cut off. At some point, it just stopped. But I'm in the process of putting on fake lashes. And I don't know what these lashes are. They're just, they're just fake. I don't know. I mean, they're a lot. But we're just going to work with it. They're much lighter than the ones I had in my last video. I will also link that 
up here um, where I was reviewing my BoxyCharm and they came with some false eyelashes and I ruined them. There was a little note, but I will say it again. If you have bougie lashes, like these are on a plastic thing. I don't know if it cut off before I mentioned, but I don't know what these are. I think they're kiss lashes, but I can't be certain. But they're like, or maybe not. They might actually be... I got a pair at like Rexall, this might be them. But they're cheap, they're like on like a little plastic band. The one that I got from my boxy charm were like silk lashes that were like glued, I don't know. They were like, it was a really thick band though. And I was wiping them off and then trying to clean the glue off with some Nivea, like oil based cleanser and those puppies did not live they literally fell apart right in front of my eyes and I had to throw them out so they were like worth $28 or something ridiculous and I got one use out of them so that was disappointing so don't clean your lashes with an oil based product get them off with an oil based product but do not try to clean them with such things. These are much more comfortable. They're just much lighter. Oh my gosh, look at me, I'm so regal. I can still see them. Like, I still don't know how people wear these all the time, but it's happening I don't know okay well while those dry down this is like stabbing me in the retina and I really don't like it I probably did it wrong if you guys know what you're doing and how to do this tell me but for now we're gonna go in with some bronzer we're gonna use Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil and I'm really annoyed because the pat like it's angled like this should be like in line but it's not look at look at what is this like er, er. it bothers me tiny details right Gwen she agrees now if only I could open it there we go that wasn't that hard let's go in with Mmm, choices, choices. Let's go with this brush. This is a Sigma Chiseled Trim Contour Brush. And we're gonna go into our little milk chocolate matte bronzer. I'm just dabbing it in there. My nose is running. What a lady I am. I'm gonna tap off. Look at this harsh line. We're going to blend that out in a minute. I'm really not a contour queen by any stretch of the imagination. I'm still trying to figure it out. What works for my face. I got it in my mouth and it tastes like chocolate. I'm disturbed. I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of weird. We're gonna bring it up. I heard to connect it to your ear, connect it down your chinny chin. Guys, it's like in my mouth. This is bizarre and I don't like it. Put you away. Um, let's use this guy. We're gonna use this weird thing. Is this what this is for? No. But makeup has no real rules, so I'm doing it. These are a pain to use with foundation, which is, I think, what they're intended for. But honestly, no. Because the minute you put foundation in this, it is a dirty, nasty brush for life. Like, they're so tightly packed that if the foundation gets down in here, you can't get it out. 
End of story. I need this again. I forgot. We have to do our forehead. I enjoy this. It's pretty cool. Look, it's like more of a cool tone brown. And it blends out pretty easily. I tend to look dirty when I contour. Like, it just looks like I have a brown streak. And it just doesn't work. But, I don't know, this one works pretty well. I mean, it's still a little streaky, but it's not the worst. It doesn't look that streaky in person, thankfully. The lights are just accentuating it. Okay, we're going to blend my eyelashes together with this, if I can fix it out. With, okay, we're going to use the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal, and we're going to curl Ooh, I don't know if I can curl actually. We can't, so never mind. Because my lashes are too voluptuous. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I got it on my face. It's okay, we'll deal with it in a minute. I did it! Oh my gosh! You guys, I'm pretty impressed with myself. My camera needs to focus. But like, I put them on. Like, I did it. This is exciting. Um, what do we need? What do we need next? Mm. Okay. So we did that. We did that. Um, let's do a little bit of blush. We're gonna go in with Burt's Bees toasted cinnamon and apply that to our cheeky cheeks let's use not that brush that's too much let's use this guy we're gonna use another sigma large powder brush and we're gonna dust off all the cat hair yes we are I don't know if toasted cinnamon is my color I just hear people talk about it a lot and I was like that does look nice on them it's not bad it's very peachy it's a little orangey but we'll work with it Okay, we're gonna use a clean brush, or maybe just clean this guy off, and blend him out a little more, cause there's a lot going on. I don't know how I feel about it. And we'll just pat it with my hand that's slightly moist. From life, okay. Do we want a highlighter? Do we want to highlight? <laughs> Let's use a little bit of MAC. We're going to go in with MAC Whisper of Guilt. And we're going to apply that on our cheeky cheeks. Let's go with this powder brush because it's already here. She's a little dusty. I don't know if you can see the dust. It's not dust. It's powder. But it's everywhere. <gasps> She's so pretty. I'm going to get my gym picture taken. I have to look glorious. They'll be like, you're going to the gym, girl. Not a flipping photo shoot. Done. Okay. We are going to put our lips. We're going to use Clara Cosmetics in the shade 21. 21. Let's see? I got her at Marshall's. Okay, we're just gonna let her dry. I'm gonna go get my gym photo taken and be like, I'm ready for my close up. What a thrill. 
I feel like my color on my eyeballs needs to be intensified now. Like, I'm literally not wearing anything fancy at all. I'm wearing like, this gray t-shirt and some pants that are too big. It's really good. It's a good look. But, um, that's what we're working with today. This is a bad idea. Like, I'm just, I'm gonna go do some very basic things with my life. But I'm like, like my face makeup and my wardrobe do not match at all. Should I change? Probably. Do I want to? No. Am I gonna? Probably not. I don't know why it looks so different on each eye. It's really bothering me. You know what? That is good enough. So I just went back in with this color up here, which is the color Fantasy. So that's what I did. Do I think that you need this palette? No. I like it. I mean, it's very sleek. It's very pretty. I haven't tested out all the colors. I have only tested out the light mattes. But, I don't know. It's hard to say. My first impression is there's other palettes out there with very similar colors that don't cost nearly as much. So, that's that. This is very drying. Also, I don't know that the color is accurate for me, but I also have really weird lips, and I find that colors on me just look different in general. Like, I can't remember what it was. There was some color that I tried out in Sephora, and even the ladies there were like, that's insane. Like, that doesn't look like... I mean, everyone's lips are different, so it varies person to person, but I don't know. This is much more orange than it appears in the tube. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But it looks quite orange on my mouth. It's very drying. Like, you can see how my lips are like... So I might throw a gloss over it. Because... This is not working out. We're just going to go with Bomb Shelter from the Bomb. And... We're just going to plop that on top to give it a little bit of life. It smells like oranges. That's happened. Mm, it's a little better. So, these are okay. They're supposed to be kiss proof, is what the bottle says. So there you go, kiss proof. Gwendolyn's kiss proof. These lashes I'm loving. I, they're, I mean, I can tell they're there. They're like kind of tickling my eye, but they're really light. They're not like the other ones that were like heavy and I felt them and I could see them. I don't see these ones as much anymore. So I like that. I wish I could remember what they were. They're like, but they're like cheap. They're like, three or four dollar lashes camera get it together so I'm pretty sure I showed them in another video but I couldn't tell you which ones sorry Gwendol she's like where are you going what's happening but I like them cheap lashes are the way to go like if they break down you're not upset about it they're great this is gonna look crazy in a gym photo though but whatever I've committed to it. Um, what else? My under eyes looking pretty decent. I mean, they're wrinkly, but no more wrinkly than they usually would be. And I enjoyed my contour, which was the Too Faced contour. I'm surprised at the toasted cinnamon. It looked pretty orange, but like, it's not bad. The MAC worked really well. I think the first time I used it, I didn't really care for it because it didn't seem to be coming off on the brush very well. But I was using kind of a funny... I was using this brush. 
this little fan brush, which I don't know. She's just not a happy camper. She's all like frayed and crazy. I washed her once and she just, she never was the same. So maybe it was just that brush, but this time I used my Luxie brush. My Luxie Precision Foundation brush, actually. And this worked really well, so go figure. Um, yeah, that's it. My Milk Makeup, I don't know if it helped with anything, but it felt nice. It was very cooling, so. Yeah, I'm gonna take my hair down and brush it out and go run some errands with some exaggerated makeup so yeah that's the look y'all thanks guy Ooh, ah. um yeah that's the video you guys so I hope that you like this look I hope that this review was helpful for you so yeah don't forget again to subscribe I will leave my link right over here so hit that guy to subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed this and chit chat with me down below i will do my best to reply to everybody because currently there's not that many of you so it allows for some nice conversation though because there aren't that many of us but spread the word share this video and uh yeah until we meet again bye guys